Rosa sativa, prairie rose. This is a shrub reaching three to four feet high, but if supported can reach 15 feet. It has a wide spreading habit with arching canes. The foliage is deciduous and leaves are alternate. Leaf shape is pinnately compound with three leaflets, rarely five. Leaflets are ovate to oblong, one and a quarter to three and a half inches long. They have a short, acuminate tip, serrate margins, and are pubescent on the veins beneath. They are dark green above and paler green below, and will have a fall color ranging from bronze purple, including red, pink, and yellow. Ornamental features of Rosa sativa. The twigs are green in color, may be somewhat reddish tinged, and will have white lenticels. These will become woody over time. Flowers are mostly pink, five petaled, two to three inches in diameter. The sepals curve backwards. These have a reddish green fruit, which is globular and small, about one third of an inch in diameter. They may be glandular and bristly, maturing in the fall. The fruit of roses are called hips. These will be one of the last roses to bloom in mid-June to July. Cultural information for Rosa sativa. These are hardy from zones 4 to 8 and prefer full sun but will do okay in part sun. Soil pH should be neutral to alkaline, about 6 to 8. Reportedly, these can handle very alkaline soils. There can be many disease and insect problems, which are typical of rose, including leaf spots, mildew, rusts, and twig blights. These are native in Iowa, as well as the eastern and central USA and north into Canada. Notes about Rosa sativa. This is a good plant for difficult areas, but certainly not for a small garden. It is not quite as tough as Rosa rugosa and can be drought tolerant once established. Cut these back in the spring to promote branching. These are typically found in moist soils along streams, in prairie thickets, and along roadsides, as well as fence rows. The fruit, or hips, attract wildlife including birds.